yet the lads have had a couple of days rest and recovered a little bit but you know we're still working behind the scenes to make sure we can put a, a plan in action to, to hopefully get points but in terms of the rest and recovery for the boys I think it was a much needed one. Yeah, um, like I said, then I think it was the previous two weeks was really intense. We had three long away trips, um, spent a lot of time together, um, spent more time with Danny May in the room than my missus, I think. So <laughs> um, it's good to get a break from him and, and some of the boys. But no, it was it has been a tough week, tough couple of weeks. Um, the three week just allows you to sort of regather everything, um, train well, work on stuff that we need to work on, um, get a bit of extra time on the training field, and ready to go again. Yeah, well, listen, we, we, we asked for consistency and me, I know, a while ago now, I think I kept saying we just need to find that consistent balance and the league was inconsistent. I think now you can see it's starting to level out a little bit, but for us, we've just got to make sure we're consistent in everything we do. I think I just heard the gaff said then, it was, like I said, we, it wasn't for the photo try and we, we, had, we had plenty of efforts on goal and on another day we we'd probably score a couple of them. Um, but it's a time of the year when we need wins, so um, you do come away from the game thinking, what if? Um, but like I said, they, they, they stuck to their game plan, they did well what they wanted to do. Like I said, it's a clean sheet, which we haven't had recently. Um, so looking at the positives, it's a clean sheet that we can build on. And like I said, in most games, we find ourselves to score, so if we can keep a clean sheet, then we'll win. There's a lot of experienced teams and players, and managers around you know, the top half of the league, if you like. But We've just got to make sure that we, we do everything right. So the experience, yeah, it is valuable at times when you've got leaders in there and experience in there. But for us, we, we, we can't take that for granted. So yeah, that experience stays with us from, from day one. Um, but what we've got to do is we've got to be focused, and, and that's what the lads are. They've had a, an extra day recovery, um, and they were focused on Tuesday. So they'll be even more focused today on, on, on Friday and Saturday, because you need to be, I think, over the next 12 games. The focus has just got to be straight. Uh, we'll have no distractions, we'll take them away from the boys and we'll give it a really good go. I said it's 12 massive games so it's, it's, it's still a long way in terms of that. Um, it's exciting, it's the business end of the season, it's, it's, the, it's a bit everyone sort of looks forward to and um, like I said it's, it's some big games coming up but no, yeah, it's been a it's been a long long season and um, plenty of games have gone. But um, whilst you're fighting for something, it's like I said, it's, it's all worthwhile towards the end. There's always people always look for negatives in, in, in you know away form and home form and whatever. Well, you know, you try and them negatives what people talk about is oh they haven't won away from home for this or they haven't done this or they haven't done that. Well, that's a, it's an incentive for us, it's a motivation for us. <laughs> um, so I can't make someone to say the next thing about it because it gives you that motivation to go. Well, no, we're going to prove people wrong. But in terms of the away form, it is what we wanted. We wanted to make sure we, we got better. The own form, we wanted to make sure it was a bit of a fall to see which we've only lost two games all season, which which for me is tells a story in itself. But again, yeah, listen, we're getting on the bus to anywhere now, feeling confident and feeling bubbly and playing the right way because we've got that confidence and we've got that hopefully. Um, consistent basis of we know that we're on the road that we're going to pick points up. No, it's, it's going to be a real battle. Um, like I said, they're all in the same position as well, so they're all looking over their shoulders and, and stuff at what we're doing. So we just got to focus on our jobs. And like I said, um, if we can come out on the other end of that in a, as a positive, that'd be great. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Um, it was, it was good actually, it was my last goal and some dual goal to be fair, so uh, another one on Saturday would be nice. Um, now I've always always enjoyed playing Bradford, it's a great place to go and play there. Um, we'll, we'll travel in numbers like we always do and it'll be a fantastic atmosphere. So now the boys are really looking forward to it, I am, I am too, so that'll be a good weekend. Yeah, well listen, they're, they're a very good team, they've, you know, they've got some good players um, and, and rightly so, they should be up there. Um, and obviously Stuart McCall's come in now and he, he's, he's made a couple of changes and personnel and, and, and probably play a different style to what Gary did uh, but again we, you're going to, to the Valley Parade you know there's probably going to be 16,000 there so that's a motivation in itself you know we're used to that not so much 16,000 but we're used to 11 and 12s yeah, and we've had 15 here in New Year's Day but 
it's, it's a push for us what we want. Yeah, so they're, they're going to pose their own threat, but so are we. And we've got to go there full of confidence. Really a successful team is built on a successful changing room. Um, and you can see why a manager would do it. Some managers aren't able to do it because they just need to get players in. Um, whereas the, the gaffer's lucky enough, he's probably got a few options of players wanting to come in. And as a club like Argyle, they'll have a few options um, of players wanting to be here as well. So they get the pick and, and they do generally pick on, on, the, on the player's character as well as their ability. Everyone's here because they've got ability and, and the gaffer believes that they can do well for the team. But also they're, they're good lads. Um, they get on with each other, but they um, also know when uh, criticism isn't personal, it's, it's something that will help everyone come, come in and see them get the, the goal that we want. We know what we're doing, we've been there before, uh, but again, I, I, we, we won't use that from last season. We, you know, It's a case of what we've done last season, is we, we knew what we were doing and how we were going to go about it. And I'd like to think this season we certainly know what we're doing and we feel we can go about it the right way.